And this here is a one-third scale, which is 33% of the inflatable airlock. And I had to make uh, three of these subscale models to find out what problems we run into before we build the full scale model. The full scale model is 10 feet by 17 feet. My name is Sam James. I'm a mechanical engineering technician in the composites and model development section at NASA Langley Research Center. What I do here is build research model aircraft and airplanes for our research and uh, development labs. And basically we bring innovative ideas to life. The project I'm working on now is called the, the Full Scale Inflatable. <laughs> So once we found out what our issues would be with the subscale models, and then we could build the full scale inflatable models. And this material is uh, Vectran material, and this is also Vectran cords, which is a high strength material, uh, just as strong as Kevlar, and it's very durable. Because of durability and the strength, it can take a lot of pressure. They inflated 20 pounds of pressure in the full scale inflatable, and it endured that pressure. I'll share uh, my path to NASA, you know, as a seventh grader, we had career day and of course my teacher asked what career we would like to pursue and I had no idea what I wanted to do, but I knew what I liked. So I liked working with my hands, building and constructing model aircraft and airplanes, and I like math and science. So what I use is my guidance counselor at the school who devised a high school curriculum for me to take all my higher math and science courses. And I also took a technical drawing, which was part of uh, the technology program uh, that I was, you know, chose to pursue, which was industrial technology. Industrial mechanical technology, which is my field, to be able to build anything that comes here in the model shop, uh, whether it's a spacecraft or model aircraft. It's really fascinating to work on these new concept model airplanes and model aircraft because it's, it's one of a kind and it's never been tested or tried before. So to be able to uh, accomplish that, you know, the, the fabrication of that particular model uh, is pretty gratifying and to see the researchers really excited to bring these uh, uh, model aircraft and, and spacecraft to life uh, is really, really significant to be able to do it here at NASA Langley. I'm from a family of 11 sisters and brothers and I'm number eight, and believe it or not, all of us uh, went to college. Uh, you know, the older sibling pretty much inspired the younger siblings when they finished college. And my mom always stressed uh, education, although she didn't uh, go to college herself because she, she couldn't afford her parents couldn't afford it. And also my dad, uh, he was taken out of school at seventh grade. You know, but he was real good in math, and he always uh, he built uh, and constructed homes and he's very good at math, and I, I would really admired him for his knowledge of uh, building homes and his skill that he had. During the summertime, I worked with my dad, um, you know, on the job. He will work for, a, you know, a good eight, sometimes ten hours, uh, and he'll show me some of the things uh, that would help him on the job that I can learn, and later on, you know, I'm able to do it, you know, myself, uh, such as plastering, uh, building homes, uh, and constructing other things, attachments to homes, uh, which I learned a lot about the different tools that he used uh, to construct these homes. At an early age, again, I like building and constructing things. I can remember one time my mom's dryer had broken. I had no knowledge of how a dryer works, but I went in there trying to find out what was the problem. And that's how inquisitive I was about things. So I love taking things apart and see how they work. And being able to do this, uh, you know, kind of made me mechanically inclined. So it's like this path uh, to be a model maker was, you know, meant for me because it's right in my atmosphere, my environment. What I learned with my father, you know, building these homes and constructing homes and learning the, the tools and all the measurements, tools that he used, uh, it really prepared me uh, for where I am today as a model maker in, in the composite model development section because you have the different scales, you have different measurements, and all you have different you have different measuring tools, so it kind of gave me an idea of how to measure uh, even the models and all uh, that are constructed here. But um, I also, I can say that you know, being you know mechanically inclined, I found what excites me. So uh, when I was hired here, you know, I had the opportunity to become you know as an apprentice. Uh, and I had to learn under senior technicians how to build these model aircraft. And 
The excitement of seeing these dynamic scale uh, airplanes was just unbelievable. And to see them fly, you know, um, after spending so much time and working four to five months to build and create, is uh, really awesome. Teamwork is really huge and a major because communication is important. As you're working on these uh, uh, dynamic scale uh, uh, models, uh, we measure one thousandth of an inch. So as you're measuring these models, uh, uh, if you have someone to come behind you and finish what you're doing, you have to communicate with them, let them know where they've stopped or what they finished and if you ran into any kind of problems to make that, that model aircraft to be successful, you know, as far as fabrication. My most favorite part is really uh, working with the, the, the researchers on uh, new concept models uh, that's, that haven't been built before uh, and, and then send it finish. Uh, and then also I've worked on uh, past innovative concepts that have been on CNN, you know, on the news, and then you look at it and say, wow, I was just working on that, you know. So I had a hand in that, I was part of that. So that's pretty neat too, you know, to be on national news, uh, something that you, you know, was working on. And, and then it's been successful and, and they're gonna eventually implement it. And then get patents on it, that's another thing too. You get patents on, sometimes you get patents on these new innovative ideas that you work on with the researchers. They'll put you in for a patent. I never thought I would have a job that I like getting up in the morning and coming to. And, and what makes it so fascinating is the different types of things that we work on, the new concepts and the innovative ideas that the researchers you know, have here in the research and development. Um, but it, it's working with the, the really world-renowned uh, engineers and researchers here at NASA Langley, and even from other centers. Um, and then working for you know, airplane industry uh, officials like uh, Boeing, also we do work for them. But it's, it's really awesome to meet you know, other people in other organiz organizations and other companies and uh, working together uh, to meet a common goal. I would tell kids, you know, students today, it's normal to be undecided of what you want to do in life, but it's important though to have a foundation to meet uh, that goal, uh, that career uh, that you do family pursue, because at the time I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I did take my higher math and science courses. I took my physics and my chemistry, and of course I took uh, technical drawings or engineering graphics, and uh, this really prepared me for college. But it's one thing I would say, find something that excites you, uh, something that make you tick, if you will, and, um, and then kind of pursue that and then find out what you need, you know, as far as courses uh, to have, uh, to be successful for that, that career choice that you make. But one good thing though is to find something that really excites you. You know, don't just pick a job because your friend is picking a job. Pick a job because you want to pick that job and then again find out you know what courses and all that you need to take uh, to be successful and in pursuit of that career.